Hey guys, how's it going? Hope you guys are well um, and that your week is off to a great start. Um, I'm coming to you today. I wanted to talk to you guys about um, a book that I read. Well, there was kind of a concept that I had been wanting to talk to you guys about and the book kind of tied in. So I guess I'm doing a book review. But today, uh, the book that I chose was You Are a Badass. Don't know. Um, a lot of you probably already read it. I saw a lot of people on social media saying that they read it. But um, for me, this book totally changed my life. It changed my view and it really kind of boosted my confidence level um, in terms of, you know, what I feel like I can do and kind of shut down self-doubt. So I really, really recommend this book if you're kind of in a stagnant place or um, knowing kind of what you want to do, but experiencing some some self-doubt or fear. And that's what the book pretty much talks about, um, about doubting yourself and just, you know, believing that whatever it is that you want to do, uh, the universe God, whatever it is that you believe in will, uh, will accommodate those dreams and, and you push them forward. Um, so it talks about self doubt, um, uh, having more confidence, uh, fear of failure. Um, and then a little bit about kind of comparing yourself to others, uh, which I, I've definitely experienced myself. I, and for me, I think it's a natural thing. A lot of people tell you, oh, well, you know, I don't worry about what other people are doing and I don't compare myself to other people. And I mean, all that's nice. But um, realistically, I think we all at some point will take a look at other people. You know, you got social media, Instagram, people posting pretty much to every move. And so when you see that and then you're looking at your life, you're looking at your peers, people you went to high school with, the college with, it's hard not to look at what they're doing and say, man, you know, I'm, you know, I'm not really where I should be, or I should be doing this and I should be doing that at this age. Um, but this book totally, totally crushes all of those, um, negative feelings that I think we get, you know, as you're getting older. And like I say, you're seeing other people kind of doing their thing and, and making advancements in their, in their careers and making boss moves and all of that. So the book kind of covers those things. And like I said, um, after reading it, it completely, completely changed my whole mindset. And I mean, the moment that I read that last page, I literally sat down and started making plans towards the future. And things have been great ever since. So I really, really recommend this book. But let's get into it. I kind of wanted to share a couple, well, not a couple, but share a few quotes um, within the book that I just really, really liked that spoke to me. Um, hopefully they speak to you. So the first quote was... Um, it says wanting to be someone else is a waste of the person that you are, which I absolutely agree with that. So for me, that goes back to comparing yourself to other people. Um, I don't necessarily think that anybody, well, at least I don't, I can't relate and say that I've ever wanted to be someone else. Um, but I can say that at some point in time, I have compared myself to other people and where they are and what they're doing, um, which I think is natural. Uh, but I want to say what I want to say about that is, you know, at the end of the day, you got to ride your own wave. You know, God made you with whatever gifts that he gave you. He, I mean, he gave us all different gifts. And so at the end of the day, you have to use whatever gift that was that he gave you um, to pursue the best life that you possibly can for yourself. It's not about what the other person's doing. It's about what you're doing and what you can do at your level with the capacity that that you can do it in. Um, and not always judging yourself based on someone else's situation, because the most important thing that I've learned um, on my 31 years of of, uh, of life on this earth is that you never really know what people are going through behind closed doors. And you never know what they had to do to get to where they are. You know, a lot of people look at someone with a nice house or a nice car and they're like, oh, man, you know, you're comparing yourself to them. And it's like, but do you know what all they had to go through to get that? Maybe they had to sacrifice time with their family, sacrifice time, you know, with their, their kids and loved ones and friends. And so, um, again, you don't know what someone went through or uh, what types of things that they had to sacrifice to get to that. It may not even be something that you'd be willing to sacrifice for. So just kind of a thought there. The next quote says, deciding is freedom. Indecis oh, can't talk. Deciding is freedom. Indecision is torture. Which... I also can relate to um, me personally. I've always been a really, really indecisive person. And I can remember one of my friends telling me maybe six or seven years ago, actually telling me um, 
that how frustrated she got about the fact that I was always so indecisive. I never wanted to make decisions. And I've, I've been like that pretty much for as long as I can remember. I never wanted to make decisions for me or for other people, um, mainly for other people. Uh, but even for myself, I found myself really indecisive about different things. I'll, I'll come up with an idea about something and then I'm like, uh, you know, I don't think that's for me. Um, so it's really been hard for me to just kind of hone in on the things that I should be doing and not to flip flop. So recently, you know, actually at the time that I was reading this book, I was kind of, I was in between figuring out kind of what I wanted to do in, in terms of, you know, career wise and, and that sort of thing. And, you know, in, we, in reading this book, I was kind of like, what this lady is saying is make a decision it, it's torture to go back and forth with should I do this and should I do that? And I think the indecisiveness comes from the fear. So going back to, to the factor of fear taking over and controlling your life and you feeling like, well, what if I choose this and it's the wrong thing? Or what if I choose that and it's wrong? Um, at the end of the day, we can't see the future. So for me, all of that goes back to having faith. You know, I don't know who you believe in or, you know, and that's none of my business, but um, whether you believe in the universe or you believe in God or whatever the case might be, you should have faith. And faith is something that we obviously can't see. We can't see what's in front of us. You have to step out on faith and know that, you know, when you step off that ledge, there's going to be something soft for you to fall um, fall down onto. And and that's what having faith is all about. And once you, once you make a, a distinctive decision about doing something, do you need to stick with it and ride that thing all the way out? And if it doesn't work out, hey, that's life. Things happen. Um, you just pick yourself back up and um, and figure out whatever direction God is, is taking you in. Maybe that was the wrong way. Um, but at the end of the day, that's what life is all about. You know, making decisions, you know, falling down, getting back up and pushing forward. So um, that's kind of my piece on that. So my next quote. It says, stay away from people with tiny minds and tiny thoughts and start hanging out with people who see limitless possibilities as the reality. I've talked about this in one of my previous videos, how important it is to have the right people around in your circle. Um, now, granted, everybody doesn't have the luxury of having a bunch of friends who are like out here and they doing it and you know, they're entrepreneurs and they, they you know, they're doing really well in their careers and they're inspiring you, you know, by you seeing what they're doing. Um, myself included, but what I will say is, um, I think it's better to have people around that's, that's going to push you. That's going to challenge you. Um, that's kind of in a way, okay, let me say this. There's a healthy way of comparing yourself to other people. There is a healthy way in terms of you have a circle of friends and they really doing it and looking at them is making you, it's not only giving you the confidence, um, that if they can do it, you can do it. But, um, you guys are kind of all challenging each other to be better. You know, you, you're not going to be, you're not going to want to be that one friend who's not doing anything with yourself. Like seeing them as they're evolving and they're growing and they're doing things and they're making big moves with their career. That's going to make you want to do the same thing. So that's, for me, that's healthy comparison. Um, and so the last quote that, uh, that I really like out the book, it says, on the other side of fear is freedom. And this is probably my favorite quote um, of the whole entire uh, whole entire book, actually. I can relate to that in so many different ways. But what I will say is that uh, for a long time, I really let fear control me in terms of what I wanted to do. There's been so many different ideas that I've had, things that I wanted to do. And I've been so fearful, fearful of rejection, fearful of failing, um, fearful of it not being as perfect as I would want it. At times I can be a bit of a perfectionist. And so, you know, with different things that I've wanted to do, you know, I'll get ideas and then I'll tell myself that I can't do it or, you know, you know, maybe, maybe it's not going to come together in a way that I want it to. But at the end of the day, like Nike says, just do it. At the end of the day, just whatever it is that you've been wanting to do, whatever dreams that you've been pursuing, just just step out on that ledge and just do it. I mean, what's the worst that can happen? Okay, it doesn't work out. Go back to the drawing board. You know, as long as you're waking up tomorrow, you got another day to figure it out. You got another day to push forward um, and change the direction of your life. 
But if you never do anything and you never start, you're going to look back with regret. You're going to be in your 40s or 50s and it's like, man, you know, I, I should have done this and I should have done that. So now's the time. Today is the day. If you start today just with, just with step one or whatever it is that you're trying to do, I guarantee you the future you is going to thank you in so many ways that you took that first step, that you did it. You know, what's the worst? Again, what's the worst that could happen? Someone else doesn't like it. Okay. People criticize people every day. You're never going to please everybody. Um, but at the end of the day, you need to be happy and satisfied with you. And it all starts with you at the end of the day. You got to decide, am I going to let fear, um, self-doubt, am I going to let those things control my life? Or am I going to move forward and just see where see where life takes me? So that's kind of what I wanted to share with you guys for today. I'm hoping that that helps somebody. I'm hoping that that motivated somebody to to get up and um, and take that first step. If it's a class or exam or something you're trying to do or whatever the case might be. Um, also, I kind of want to throw in here. You never know what you know what opportunities are out there. If you're feeling, if you're right now feeling like there, you don't have the opportunities to do the things that you want to do. Reach out to people. There's so many ways. Uh, recently, I just um, I reached out to someone on LinkedIn and I was able to get a really, really good contact um, in terms of some things that I'm trying to do with my career and super, super blessed for that. But you know what? It took me stepping on that ledge and being a bit vulnerable and saying, I'm going to reach out for help. This person doesn't know me and they, they could look, you know, read this message and say, well, I don't know her. You know, why would I help her do anything? But you'd be so surprised um, if you put yourself out there, the the enormous amount of resources that are there and the people that are willing to help you do whatever it is that, that you're trying to do and um, help you achieve whatever dreams you're trying to, to reach. So that's my tidbit for today. Again, I hope that helps someone and I will talk to you guys soon. Till next time. Take care.